and welcome back to Raining Cake. If you're new here, my name is Julie and I do videos weekly on fashion, beauty, lifestyle and travel. If you're subscribed, then thank you for coming back. Lovely to have you here. Just want to apologise for two things. My eyelashes are an absolute wreck at the moment. Obviously, haven't been out to get them done and they're just a little bit painful at the moment. Not in terms of it's not physically painful, it's just the fact that I, they just look like random spider legs um, but I don't think you can see them that closely because I'm not like right up in front of the camera but they are a little bit sparse and the other thing is downstairs is still doing renovations so there is a little bit of banging um, in the room and actually there's another one I now have a new clock in this room where I film and you can hear the tick tock actually I don't know if I should have said that maybe you wouldn't have noticed it but now that I've said it maybe you will notice it but anyway, I'm rambling on. So today's video is a top five products or the five products that I will always repurchase. Um, these are like my absolute favorite products. They're like my go-tos and just like, I try so many products like all the time and I do have the ones that I just absolutely love and I always want to keep on using it but I also have to try a lot of new products as part of my job as a blogger and YouTuber and whatnot so I've just picked out my top five the ones that I will always always buy again and wouldn't mind spending the money on purchasing them all the time so the first item that I'll always repurchase um, regardless of whatever situation is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Illuminating Body Lotion. So I only recently tried this um, maybe end of last year. No, actually it wasn't end of last year. It was probably summertime actually. Um, I had the Illuminating Shower Gel as well and this is the body lotion and it is literally like the most amazing gorgeous body lotion you'll ever have it smells so so good and it um just reminds you of like holidays and stuff because it's got coconut in it um that's the whole reason why i like it so much also because of holidays um but because it's got like this illuminating pearly sheen inside um when you put it on after you have a shower and whatnot it gives your skin the most gorgeous glow and it's not that expensive either i believe it's less than 10 pounds um but it is such a nice moisturiser. I absolutely swear by the Body Butters by Body Shop, but this is a really close contender. I still love the Body Butters. They are like my ultimate favourite ever. Um, but I do also really love this, um, especially during the summer. Um, it's because it's like a really light moisturiser. It goes on the skin really nicely and it's just doesn't just doesn't feel like anything's on your skin but obviously your skin is soft um and it has also that nice little glow and sheen to your skin which is always always nice so the next item um is a makeup item and it is the urban decay all nighter waterproof long wear liquid foundation and this is my second bottle and i'm like halfway through already even though at the moment I'm not really wearing a lot of foundation I mean I've got it on today um but literally I only just go out once a week to do the shopping and put makeup on then and put makeup on when I have to film which is once a week um but yeah this is gonna last me ages um but I get the shade 4.0 and that is um quite a light shade at the moment because I don't really have a tan um, but when I do have a tan I'll just mix this normally with my Becca foundation which is a little bit darker and it gives me like the kind of perfect match for when I have a tan um, I don't know how much this is actually I believe it's in its 20s um, but it's such a full coverage foundation so just want to note that, that it's full coverage um, it gives the most gorgeous flawless finish and it's easy to apply it lasts all day does not budge whatsoever so it is a really nice foundation and Urban Decay always comes up top for me anyway in terms of a lot of makeup products I love their eyeshadows I love their concealers their foundation is great so yeah I mean Urban Decay is just all round a great brand. Next up my favourite ever ever scent. If you know me you probably know or seen or I've heard me spoke about it before on this channel but like it is one of those ones that I will always buy regardless of whatever situation. Um, 
I just don't know I don't remember when I started loving this scent I think it was maybe early 20s probably that I first discovered it and since then I was just in love and haven't stopped buying it all the time so the scent in question is the Stella McCartney Stella perfume and like I said if you know me and you've watched me or followed me on this channel for that time you would know that this is my absolute favourite this is I don't know how what what bottle this is but it's actually quite a new one because there is quite a lot left in it but uh, it's just it's just such a nice everyday scent and like you can't go wrong with an everyday scent because it's just so versatile you can wear it all the time day to night whatever but I love this absolutely love it I wish I could just pull it in the screen so you can smell it but it is such a gorgeous scent. I absolutely love that. The next item I have um, is a hair product and it is by a brand called Main and Tell. Um, you might have heard of them before. You actually probably have because they're in all major like supermarkets and stuff. Um, but it is a hair strengthener and they are most famous for their shampoos and conditioners, which I've tried and love. Um, they it's kind of like difficult I don't know if it's difficult to explain but it's kind of I think the whole um concept around it was it was used to maintain like horses hair and stuff like that um that's why it's just such a that's why it's such a good brand for like human hair because the horses hair is like really soft um and strong and the whole concept behind I think the brand in general is the fact that it would keep your hair soft as well as giving it the strength so I know that is kind of a bit of ramble explanation but anyway back to this hair strength for the daily leave-in conditioning treatment it is an absolute must-have you spray it into your hair it keeps your hair nice and soft and conditioned and it also strengthens like my hair is not the best um, in terms of it's been coloured a lot it's been straightened a lot it's been gone through everything um, and I use this quite often to keep my hair in place in terms of keeping it healthy and trying to avoid um we're trying to stop it i mean i do still blow dry my hair i do still straighten my hair but this just helps it um protects like the kind of top layer so it doesn't the heat and all that still penetrates the hair but just it just helps to protect oh this just absorbs into the hair and it just helps protect the hair a lot so I would highly recommend it and I do believe it is again one of those products that's less than £10 so I will obviously place the link below so you can check that out. Right the last item is a skincare item and again one of those ones that I could never live without um, now that I've tried it and I've also recommended it to a lot of people which they have tried and loved also and that is the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. So I only use this in the evenings and it is a gentle exfoliator for the skin. Um, I put it on a cotton pad, put it all over my skin and literally it's just I wake up with the most radiant skin like you would ever know. Um, I started using this just before I got married in 2018. It was recommended by my makeup artist who did my makeup on a day and he was like you need to try this, you need to use this and your skin will be amazing on your wedding day. So that was when I started using it and it is honestly like a godsend. Like I don't go a day without using it. It's one of the ones that I put on every single day without fail. And because it is so gentle you can actually use it every day even though it says acid it's actually a really gentle form of acid and when I recommend this to people and say you need to use this garcolic acid they're like what you put acid on your skin and I'm like it's absolutely fine you can put it on and it'll be it's so soft and gentle that it, you will not feel a thing so I highly recommend trying this if you haven't you probably have heard of it or tried it at some point or heard someone recommend it The Ordinary is a great skincare brand and it is so so affordable this is like six pounds something um, and all the other products are really really cheap as well but the quality is amazing and it really does work for your skin so that is the end of the video I feel like I've rambled on for the longest time um, but those are my kind of top five must repurchase products um, so I'll link, leave all the links below so you can check those out thank you so much for watching really hope you enjoyed the video if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new if you're not subscribed then I will see you again soon in my next video Thank you so much and stay safe. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, 
and I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who 